The Italian Vacation, written by Claudia Marinelli. Interior, Berente's Bakery Shop, Kitchen, Day. Rachel puts fudge, curly hair on a griffin dog cake. The dog looks funny and friendly, but not its creator. Rachel's frown is not just morose today, it's bitterly sad. Giordano enters the kitchen. He walks up to the table, takes a stool from under it, and sits. Rachel's fingers shake. You're so talented. Rachel bangs her fist on the table. Dad, will you leave me alone? I need concentration to finish. I know what happened with that Paul of yours. Judy told me. Rachel straightens up and defiantly stares at her father. I'm sorry. Rachel doesn't flinch. I'm sorry. Really, I am. Rachel's eyes are watery. She turns around and steps toward the kitchen back door. Giordano stops her and hugs her. I'm so sorry. Rachel breaks up. She hides her head into Giordano's shoulder and wets Giordano's shirt with her tears. I want to help. Yeah, right. Rachel steps backwards. She dries her tears with a hand. You worked so hard. You're stressed. You need a vacation. Are you making fun of me? No. Rosina called back. Uncle Mario was transferred to a rehab center, but somebody from the family should go. So you go. You speak Italian. So do you. You know me. I'll start fighting with Mario right away. Rachel considers her father. Is he serious? Dad, I have no money. My school loan is huge. I'll pay for the trip. And for your school loan. Non ti preoccupare. <laughs> yeah, right. You never paid. I have to work here as your employee. You girls get good wages. I'm fair. Blah, blah, blah. Giordano's stiffens. Rachel looks at him defiantly. She knows he's going to scream. She's ready to fight. But what's this new light in his eyes? Is he refraining himself? I'll pay this time. Rachel's speechless. What happened to him? You don't believe me. Giordano takes out two sheets of paper from his pants pocket and hands them to Rachel. God. Rachel reads the first page. She looks at her dad and reads it over again. What does that mean? I have to leave the day after tomorrow? See, si. hey, look at the other pages. It's a money transfer to your account. Rachel reads the second sheet of paper. But that's a lot of money, Dad. I paid for your school loan and pocket money for you to spend in Italy. But, Dad, what? That money is for you, not for Uncle Mario, okay? Rachel is speechless. Then a doubt crosses her mind. Was that Judy's idea? Sure. What do you care? That was Judy's idea. You... Judy told me about Paul, the bastard. But if he sold your work, this means you're good at carving. And you needed somebody to steal my creations and sell them to figure that out? Giordano tightens his lips. This conversation is going to end up in a big fight unless he says something smart. I'm sorry. I should have seen that before and believed in you. Rachel looks at her father. Is he bluffing or is he serious? Go to Italy. Help Mario for me and become successful. What if I can't take care of you? You are smart. I trust you. What if I make a mess with your money? That's your money now. Besides, you can manage money pretty well. What if... Basta. Giordano nears his daughter and fondles her cheek. Ti voglio bene. You have a few months. Mario's atelier is still there, so... Grab the occasion. But... What if I fail? Rachel, I'm telling you to go carve in Italy. What are you waiting for?